It's going to be the third part of my video review of the Copper River 15 inch briefcase, um, the Lincoln briefcase, excuse me. This uh, part of the video review is going to be my final conclusion, walking through the bag, talking about why I use it, why I chose it, and why I like this bag so much. So this particular bag, the 15 inch one, I chose specifically because of what it can fit. So 15 inch falls right between the 14 inch medium of the Saddleback Classic and the 16 inch large size of the Saddleback Classic. This is slightly smaller than the large. Um, the large fits computers extremely well. The medium, you kind of have to stretch out the sides to fit it. This one is a nice compromise. It fits my computer, my 15 inch MacBook Pro very well without ex excess space and without the side gaskets being bulging too far out. The other things I love about this bag, um, the back pocket that allows you to fit a full sheet of paper in. So if you watch my first video of this three part video review, I rave about how nice this back pocket is, how smart it was that they moved this pocket slightly up. So this area back here that bows out a little bit doesn't affect the util, um, useful space of this pocket. I love the fact that the side straps here are very intelligently thought out in length. So if you don't use them, they sit comfortably and they look nice. You don't have to, you know, fold them back over and tuck them up into different, you know, strap holders. You can just let them sit here because it, there's no excess strap that's flopping around or looking unprofessional. But then if you want to use it, the strap holes here line up really well with however tight you want to make this bag. So I love that design. Center strap, same thing. This leather, absolutely gorgeous. So part of the reason why I bought this bag was I have a nylon bag that I use, a Timbuktu bag that I would use for my short haul flights where I was throwing stuff around, running in and out. You know, I sometimes will go on flights where, you know, I'll fly to Boston for a day and come back or fly to Baltimore, which I'm doing in a couple months for a one day meeting and coming back that night at midnight. On those flights, I need a good personal item bag. I know I'm throwing into the taxi, throwing into, you know, hotel conference rooms, throwing into just random places while I'm running around trying to get all my work done in one day and then getting on a flight to go back. It's not as leisurely as my longer business trips, which means that I needed a bag that was very versatile and I didn't have to worry about it. I would always bring my nylon bags because I knew as kind of careless as I would be with those bags, it would never get destroyed. The times I brought my leather bags, I ran into issues. They were too heavy. So it was difficult to lug every single thing around because you kind of live out of this bag when you do, you know, a single day flight and you're just going to meetings and flying back. So this bag isn't as light as my nylon bike, but it's definitely lighter than all of my other leather bags, which I absolutely love. It has this back pocket that allows me to put in papers. It has two side pockets here that I can use for miscellaneous things that I need. It has a handle that's easy and comfortable to hold on to. It has a shoulder strap that's also easy and comfortable to use. And best of all, it has this absolutely gorgeous leather. So, you know, even in my stressful day, as I'm going around and meeting with people, this leather grabs people's attention, especially the fact that you can kind of write with your fingers on this leather. People who aren't into leather see this bag and it's an automatic conversation piece. I'm meeting someone who I've never met before. I walk in the conference room with this bag. They see it, they go, hey, nice bag. And it gives me a door to kind of start talking to them about something other than what we're meeting about to establish that relationship. So that way I have a much, much better meeting and a much you know, enjoyable meeting. Other parts about this bag that I like. Um, I like the fact that this bag is completely made in the US. So this is essentially a small mom and pop shop. Copper River Bags is founded by a husband and wife team. The husband used to be a firefighter. Um, it sounds like he did this in his off time, created a couple designs that people enjoyed and they created a business out of it. Um, they hire all of their own people in house. They have employees that have worked with them for as long as the company's been around. This is all handmade at one spot where they're based out of in California. The leather comes from cows based in the US and it's tanned at three separate tanneries, um, some in the US, some in Mexico, and some in Italy. They've gone through several tanneries um, based on my conversations with the owner of the company, which um, shows that their expectations are really high. You know, They have a vendor that they like, if they mess up on the leather, they go to someone else. Um, they know exactly what they want in their leather and it shows in leather enthusiasts when they look at exactly how great the design of this leather is. So it's something that 
is a small piece of attention to detail that means a lot to people who really love leather bags. You know, it's frustrating when companies come out with a line of bags that look gorgeous and the leather is great, then six months later, you can't buy that leather because they switch manufacturers, they switch manufacturing processes or their quality control changed a little bit and suddenly they can't produce bags of the same quality and things start to fall apart. Um, great examples of this are like the Kendo and Hyde. When their whole company essentially went bankrupt when they had some issues sourcing leathers and getting orders out in time. This is a company that survived a long time with incredibly high quality leather. There's obviously something about it they're doing right. Another part I want to talk about this is um, in sending out that email, I got the opportunity to interact with one of the owners of the company. All my emails have been answered by the wife of the husband and wife team. She's essentially their HR department and their customer service department. She answers every single question. And as an owner of the company, she actually knows all the answers to the questions. She doesn't have to ask anybody, you know, can we do this? Is this the right thing to do? She tells me what she wants to do. And that's what happened. She tells me where they get their leather and why they had issues with sourcing the leather. And I know it's the absolute truth because I'm talking to the owner. That is actually very incredible in any business in the United States that you shoot an email out to them and the person that responds to you is the owner of the company, not some you know customer service representative that they hire, that they give them a script to talk about. Everything that you get from them is from the owner, which I absolutely love. Um, Another little touch I love about this bag is um, they're very proud of the fact that they're made in the U.S. and I think they should be. I mean, there aren't many leather bags given the production cost of how much these bags cost to produce that are made in the U.S. So they have a nice little American flag here to let you, uh, you and everyone else know you have a bag that is made and produced in the United States. So something about this company they're doing right and you're starting to see it in these tiny little details right someone who runs a company well is also the same type of person when they design a bag think about how long these side straps should be when they design a bag they think about how large this back pocket should be these tiny little pieces of attention to detail i'm sure permeate throughout the company as a whole so great design great bag i absolutely love it i think this has become my permanent personal carry-on item. Um, not to mention, this bag is incredibly affordable. This bag is significantly cheaper than Saddleback and slightly more than the Texpo bag. It is uh, currently about $286 online, which is about $60 to $70 more than the Texpo bag, depending on you know what time you're looking at it. And roughly, you know, a third to a quarter of the cost of the Saddleback. And frankly, a quality of the leather if not on par, maybe even better than what Saddleback currently has. So definitely a buy in my book. Um, this is a great company to work with, and hopefully everybody has as great of an experience with their bags as I do. So this has been um, the third part of my video review of the Copper River Lincoln Classic Briefcase 15-inch.